I think we can now firmly conclude that this issue of the classified documents has nothing to do with principle. It has nothing to do with real national security threats. It is simply about punishing political enemies. Hillary does it. Hillary does the worst version of it. No big deal. No slap on the wrist. Doesn't matter. Biden does a pretty bad version of it. No big deal. Brush it under the rug. Nothing to see here. Move along, move along. Donald Trump does the version of it that is most defensible and hardest to claim is illegal in any way. It's the end of the world. Americans are being killed overseas. We're, we're, we're giving away the nuclear secrets. This man needs to go into an orange jumpsuit. And, and now that this happened to Biden, you're going to see the news move right along. No big deal. Nothing to see here. Okay. This is just about punishing political enemies. You know, this is the case because the White House is dodging questions on this issue like Neo in the Matrix. Okay. The Corinne Jean-Pierre, poor lady. I hope she can, I hope she can bend to the side the right way because the questions are pretty straightforward. The issue is pretty clear and she is dodging them as fast as she can. On these documents, how could anyone be that irresponsible. Isn't that what this president says about mishandling classified documents? The president spoke to this personally. He spoke to this personally. He, again, he believes that uh, classified documents and information should be taken seriously. He takes them seriously. And he was surprised it's, it's to learn by any, any records. Have been. I disagree. I disagree. Here's what happened. Here's what happened once then his- Then Justice Department? Well, let me, let me explain to you the process. Here's what happened when uh, his lawyers found out that the documents were there. They immediately turned them over uh, to their archives. How can President Biden be trusted moving forward with America's secrets? Because his lawyers, his team did the right thing. But he had a class with he, classified his information lawyers in did it the that right they found. How did he again get there? again again did the he did he the was right surprised that the records were there he spoke to this personally he was surprised that the that the records were there and when his lawyers found out and his team found out that they were there uh, they turned it over to their archives and now it's being reviewed by the department of justice oh he was surprised that the records were there okay then Okay, then no big deal. Do I believe that Joe Biden was actually surprised that the records were there? Maybe. He's a liar, so I'm inclined not to believe him, but he's pretty forgetful, so I'm somewhat inclined to believe him. Either way, though, he was surprised that the records were there is no excuse. Intention can matter when we're talking about prosecuting crimes, but if the action that is taken, intentionally or unintentionally, is an egregious action, if it's against the law, then there has to be some punishment for it, right? For the action itself, not merely the intention. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Think about the distinction between murder and manslaughter. Yes, it's true that we prosecute murder more severely than we prosecute manslaughter, but we prosecute manslaughter. Why? Because it's wrong to kill a person, whether you intend to kill a person or not. So is it wrong to mishandle these classified documents or is it not? Well, he just, he didn't, he didn't intend to. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Ignorance of your own actions is not an excuse either, not ultimately. And so you're going to see the libs move on from this. And it's going to expose what the Trump classified documents episode, the walls are closing in, they've got him now of 2022, was really all about. It was just a bunch of nonsense to punish a political enemy. In fact, not only are you going to see these sorts of excuses for Joe Biden's behavior, you already are seeing them. And you're not just seeing them from his paid spokesman. You're not already seeing them from ju just from the White House press secretary. You're seeing them from the establishment media. You are seeing it from Joy Behar on The View. On The View. Joy, Be Joy Behar on The View. Joy Behar on The View says that this situation with Biden improperly storing classified documents. It's completely different from what Donald Trump did. Here's why. Byron needs to calm down a little bit because <laughs> there are some perhaps differences here. The optics are not necessarily the best. So is it good news for you? No, who, anything that makes us talk about him is good news for him. Not really. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I think that no, what you just said is yeah, right, that, yeah. that there are differences in what happened. Yes, but you the know, are not good. Well, we all know that Trump is a liar and a thief, you know? <laughs> we know that. So it's not that big a jump 
to say that he obstructed and he lied. We don't think that Biden is a liar and a thief, so we give him the benefit of the doubt. That's probably what's going on. That's what's going on, right? Now, I know, I know people are going to pull their hair out in indignation and shock at the absurdity of Joy Behar's statement that Joe Biden, he's not a liar and a thief. Joe, put thieving aside. I mean, he seems pretty crooked to me, but he is a liar. He's probably the most infamous liar politician alive today. Not a cheap shot. I'm not just trying to throw a bomb at my political opponent. I mean, specifically for lying, he's been caught in it the most. He's had the most political consequence in his life because he's a liar. Democrats call him a liar. Republicans call him a liar. So, But put that aside for a second. The principle that Joy Behar is espousing here is we give more grace to people on our own side than we do to our enemies and to our political opponents. That's a pretty smart principle, actually. There's nothing wrong with that principle. There's nothing hypocritical. It's not that there's a double standard even with that kind of a principle. That is politics. Politics is a team sport. Politics begins with the premise that man is a social animal and we find our identity and our flourishing in society with one another. And when you're in Democratic politics and Republican politics, such as we are, then there are going to be different coalitions that form to get things done. No man is an island. You can't do politics all by yourself. And so you form coalitions and it is perfectly natural to have more trust in the people who are close to you. It is perfectly natural to give the benefit of the doubt or more of the benefit of the doubt to people who are part of your team, part of your family, part of your community, your fellow countrymen. It is a liberal lie and error that that says that we should not afford any more grace or trust to our own countrymen than to anybody else on earth. It is it is a fundamental political error that comes out of the libs. I'm not just saying the modern left-wing liberals. I'm talking about liberal modernity. I'm talking about the last several hundred years that says, oh no, all these things like loyalty to family, loyalty to tribe. You often hear tribal politics is that's the worst thing in the world. Well, people are in tribes, aren't they? People do come from families and tribes and nations. And it's natural to have a, a kind of affection for that and to offer some grace to that. The family is a natural human institution and political communities progress naturally from that. Patriotism is a logical extension of filial piety. I have no problem with with Joy Behar saying, yeah, look, Biden's on my team. And so I trust him more than I trust the guy on the other team. I wish conservatives would understand that a little bit better. There's nothing wrong with preferring your family to somebody else's family. There's nothing wrong with preferring your country to somebody else's country. Everyone else on earth operates that way. It's only these these benighted liberals in the West who have thrown all out that out the window and said that no human beings are all just undifferentiated individuals floating in the ether somehow. We're all citizens of the world, kumbaya. No, that's not true. It's not, not how politics works. It's not how human nature works. My producer, Ben Davies, has a story every week that he's upset that I don't get to. And so I've got the story here facing upside down. I will flip it over and read the story for the first time. You got to go to the member block to do that, okay? That is dailywire.com slash Knowles. Use code Knowles at checkout. You will get two months free on all annual plans. See you at the member block.